hello guys this is fresh from fresh card and today we are going to continue our tangency run and um, we're going to draw this object here okay so let's begin all right um we'll first begin by drawing a line of 45 mm from this dimension given here so we we'll just go to line click on auto mode so that the line will be straight and then we just type in 45 after that um, we notice that the end of the, the, the at this point of the line is the center for this circle here of 25 mm so we just sharply draw it specify radius 25 and then we'll draw the outer one which is of 35 mm that is 25 plus 10 35 after drawing that uh we should uh we're going to offset this line here by 22 so that we'll be able to get the center for this arc and this arc so offset distance 22 after that um we will draw this circle here of 10 mm this one is of 20 mm so 10 Having drawn them, um, we will draw we'll draw this arc here that is tangential to these two circles, and the radius of the arc is twenty five, as given here. So use tan tan radius. And then we'll just draw the line that joins these two circles together. Okay. And then uh, the next thing that we'll draw is this arc here of 76 mm, which is tangential to this circle and this circle. So we use tan tan radius. Seventy six, yeah, and then uh, we draw this arc as well, which is of radius eighty six. So use tan tan radius. So having drawn that, uh, we we are going to also draw this arc here of fifty mm using tan tan radius as well and then uh, the drawing is taking shape as so uh, in order to reduce the complications let's trim off some parts that are unwanted so go to trim press enter then we we'll trim some parts that are unwanted to reduce complications because the whole thing is looking complicated okay we trim trim yes trim 
dream. Dream, dream. Dream, dream. Dream, 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 dream. Okay. Dream, dream, is that off? Dream, dream, dream. Yeah. Still dreaming. <laughs> So okay, this is enough for now. This is enough for now. So you can see oh no. so now we can see what we have so far. So now uh let's draw this line here. <laughs> let's draw this line here. The line here that joins this circle or this arc to this arc. So just click on line. And then just. So we trim again. And then let's erase the other parts that are left. All right, okay, this is good enough. Yeah, this is good enough. So um, let's, uh, what's left for us to draw are just these circles here. So let's begin. So how do we get the center of the circles? First of all, uh, we need to extend this line upward. So we'll click our auto mode so that the line will be very straight. We'll stretch this line, stretch it this way to after stretching that line we okay let's look at this circle now it's five mm it's five mm away from this arc so what we do is to offset the arc by five mm so offset it by five mm even this one to is the same five, so I'll set this one two by five. This one here, same thing. Five. Which other one? This one here. It's the same five. So that's that one. So um, the the center of this one is twelve mm away from the top of the 45 mm line so we just this is top of the 45 mm line we'll just extend it this way and then we'll offset it by 12 Okay, having done that, we, yeah, okay, let's get the center of this one. 
we just okay they've already given us angle 45 from here so we just click on line we go to our polar tracking select 45 and then this is it same thing for this other one okay which other one do we need uh okay so okay let's draw the circles and the circles are five each with diameter five so we just click on center diameter and then we begin to draw now instead of repeating the same process we just copy say select base point this is the base point okay change so I haven't done that now what is left for us to draw is just this one and this one so how do we get this one we'll offset this line by 20 mm and then we offset this one and then we offset this line this one that is this one here by 32 mm where they intersect that is this place is the center for this circle here of diameter six so having done that um the last one for us to draw is this one so it's just 10 mm away from this baseline so we just offset this baseline by 10 mm And then we draw the circle of diameter 10. And uh, the drawing is complete. So just erase the unwanted parts. and this one too so this is the complete drawing so thank you for watching